How freaking cool was that? All right, let's go see this apartment. You don't get that every day. So there's a an interesting tie that ties this village with Scotland. And we'll talk about it. Wow, look at this. Gosh, guys, don't we see some interesting stuff together? I mean, seriously. You know, guys, we came to film a little place and then we decided we'd go ahead and come and film this place. And I think this is going to be the star of the whole tour. Oh, no, there's the star. Hello. There's Hi. the star. Hey, it's Claudia, Welcome. the southern woman with all the cool properties that don't cost a lot of money. Is that Stesso Piazza? Yes. So many years ago. Sorry, my flash. There's no lights on it here, so I had to put on the camera light. This place has been around for a while. Look at this. This is going to be like a walk through history. Yes. Okay, guys. Well, Claudia's going to lead the way. It's big. It's very big and huge. 380 wow. square meters. A lot of windows and super bright rooms. 380. 380. So about 4,100 more or less square meters. Seven. The ceiling in the center is, is, is quasi cinque metri. Yes. Almost five yes. meters. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. You think there's a good breeze coming? I'm so happy we get to see this. You know, I was doing all these specials with Claudia the last two days. A property is under 100,000. It's nice to see an expensive one. I'm using air quotes. <laughs> it's 298,000. Look at this view, guys. Come on. And this isn't some small town, hilltop town. They had a lot of businesses here. I noticed when we walked in, there's a, a regular grocery store, not a tiny one, a regular. Yes, regular grocery stores, pharmacy, bars, restaurants, shops, everything. everything. All and right. Please enjoy because there are so many rooms. Gosh, Seven yeah, places. I guess. Huge. 4,000 square feet. You think they would make a deal for the furniture? Yes, definitely. I tell you what, my designer, I'm going to put her name right here in the video, Irene. She would, she would give up her firstborn for some of this stuff. Look at that armoire. They are very valuable furniture. Uh, uh, guys, if you can get this furniture put in, you have done really well because this is some nice ass furniture. Gosh, it's solid. <laughs> Look at that. I know furniture. I'm in the furniture business. It was. Build a sofa. America's best sofa company. Still in operation. I just couldn't take it anymore. 25 years was enough. And I'm still the boss. You are literally right back in the mountains, and I'm sure there's hiking trails and stuff. The, the doors are in excellent shape, Claudia. Look, there's not even any uh, peeling or anything in the paint. Very nice. So that's one bedroom. Back to the main room that we walked into. Looks like a, just a little bit of some sort of water stuff over here to be looked at. Guys, look at this original, or at least very old, wood on these doors and stuff, casing. Look at that. Look how it's put together. Yeah, it looks like at some point there was 
some sort of moisture might have walked in from it. This is an outside wall right here. So maybe it walked a beam because it's on either side of this wall, but it doesn't look like it's real current. So. Now we're basically right above that cafe. Another glorious day in Frosinone. And you guys want to go to Sicily. Ugh, Sicily? This no, I'm kidding. Is, this is our Sicily. <laughs> Frosinone is the Sicily of the north. Don't say that. The casement's amazing. These doors are amazing. Wow. And I'm not just being a shill for Claudia or trying to push anything on anybody. I'm just saying, when I show an apartment, like or the house that I showed in Arpino, the Quindici Mila, Quindici Mila uh, square foot palace. Rocca d'Arce. Rocca d'Arce. It's gone. It's gone. it's gone and people said who would ever want to live there somebody from England apparently is going to be living there so when you see a place like this that the asking price is 298 if you're looking for a place where you can come and chill and bring your whole family and I mean your whole damn family whole would fit <laughs> big family seven bedrooms for a very And something I tell people a lot too, guys, let's look out this one because this is looking a different, this is looking almost north. There's your little square. That's the mini market down there. Plenty of parking. So when you have guests here, you won't have any issue. And then you can see the lower valleys and stuff are over that building there. What I was going to say was this. Yes, it seems like a lot to remodel. But I can tell you, when I was doing my remodel jobs, because I did a bunch, I did over 200 apartments in 20 years in the United States where I bought apartment buildings, rehabbed them, kept them, and then sold them eventually. Uh, bedrooms don't have water. Water is the tricky part. Getting rid of water, getting water in, that's tricky. Bedrooms, there's walls, you paint the walls, you add flooring, there's not much else to do. Gosh, Claudia, what a great surprise. And, and we're both sorry that there's no electricity on, but we, it just can't be helped. Another bedroom. God dang, they're big. Hey, Claudia. Stand in front of this armoire. Claudia. She walked away. Can you stand in front of that armoire? I want them to get scale to see how big it is. <laughs> how big it is? I'm so small. <laughs> you're, not, you're not that small. I can walk through. You're not that. You're not that short, I should say. Yeah. She's very, very petite. Look at this furniture. Yeah. If you could make a deal, for, you know what I would do? Yeah. I would offer full price and try to come to some sort of consideration for all the furniture. And just make it easy for them. That's what I would do because this stuff is very sellable. Yeah, look at this one. Yeah. Back out to the same plaza again. That's what I would do. The same here. Look at this marble thing. Yeah, very nice. I'm more interested in this casing mm -hmm. around this doorway. So, guys, this is so big that I'm just going to follow Claudia like a little puppy. It's windy up today. Just storage? Bathroom? One bathroom. Oh, yeah, with a shower. And the storage, there could be another bathroom in my opinion, or maybe a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can push down this temporary wall here and create a bigger bathroom in case. So Claudia is saying, knock this obviously isn't load bearing since it doesn't go to the ceiling. Knock this wall down and maybe open up this bathroom. Maybe just put in two toilets, have yeah. one bidet, a nice big shower. And this is the door that leads to the under roof area. You can go and have a look. That's just storage, right? Yeah. 
it's much more than a storage. Okay, so we'll get up there. Let's see, is there more on this floor? Yeah. Okay, let's go see the rest of this floor, yeah. I'm just gonna follow you. Yeah. There's worse things in life than following Claudia Fallon. Come with me, you will not get lost. Who's happily married, I might add. So, stop with the emails. <laughs> Look how much air is coming through, guys. You see it moving in here? Top, top of the city. So this is where we came in originally? Yes, sure. We've been on the right side and yeah. now we're <laughs> We've only been on the right wing. Now we're going to be on the left wing. Holy mackerel. Wow. So again, the same view. So now we're looking basically south, more or less, up into the mountains. Claudia, could you stand on the other side, please, hon? I say hun because I'm from Texas. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to have to text her. Wow. You know, normally I don't like old floors, but I could work with these. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend the money. It'd be 30,000 to put in nice travertine. I wouldn't spend the money. Another bathroom guys. So this has been updated recently. I, I would say within the last 10 years for sure. Three years ago. Three years. How long? Three years ago. I was right. No more than 10. This shower is a 120 by 80. That's a pretty good size. I'm actually putting one in today in my Palazzo Avanesi because it had one of those stupid quarter round showers that you can't even touch your toes in. And then the kitchen with a fireplace. Functioning? Functioning, of course. A functioning fireplace. Yeah. I'd be making pasta on this. Look at that marble. Beautiful. Yeah. So the kitchen needs to be remodeled, at least it does, does in my world. Just some nice cabinets, nothing nice modern. counter. Yeah, nothing modern, but something nice, something yeah. new. And really make this, uh, gosh, what a great, can you imagine the entertaining you could do? We love to entertain. Oli and I love having big party. We used to have 30, 40 people at a time in our house in Texas. We're really looking forward to getting a place here so we can start up again. Pantry. So the story with this town, guys, is it has a big connection to, sorry, I don't think I'm supposed to go through that door. It has a big connection to Scotland because many people during World War II emigrated out of here to Scotland for the war uh, where things weren't bad. And there was a lot of fighting here eventually via Anzio. Frosinone had a lot of action in World War II, especially in the flat areas. And a lot of people went up there. Now a lot of people are returning. That's why you saw the guys playing an instrument earlier in the video that looks something like a bagpipe. Claudia, this is going to sell. I'm telling you. It's so nice. It's so, oh no, it's so nice. It's in such good condition. I mean, for what it is, it's in such good condition. A big kitchen, so many rooms you don't know what to do. It's a gem. It's a gem. It is a gem. Another, it needs another bathroom for sure. But if you could do the plumbing in these rooms, if I don't know how they would do the plumbing. Yeah, I think it would be possible. They're so big. I mean, look how, hold on. Step in the doorway. I want to show you guys something. Hold on. Look at how far we are. Look how far away. I mean, we can run. You could put in a, 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 a nice bathroom in here. Sure. As soon as, as soon as you can get the water and, and wastewater, everything taken care of. Yeah, that's right. It's right. It's, you know, gosh. You know, three ensuite rooms. All right, guys. Well, you know the drill. Would you rather talk to her, beautiful, smart, five language speaking woman, or you could talk to me, Brad. If you want her, it's Claudia at alfanorealestate.com. If you want me, it's bradsworld8 at gmail, or you can go to bradsworld.it and use the contact form. The answer to your comment, 
guy who's going to say, yeah, but who wants to live in that town? Apparently lots of people because everything is selling down here. So that's the answer. Uh, and people see the value in this. Maybe it's not what you want, but people certainly see the value in these places. Better here than a, a tiny little apartment on the outskirts of Florence or something. You know, and you're still only 90 minutes to Rome, 45 minutes to the beaches. In this view, imagine at sunset, because that's basically west. Imagine at sunset, guys. Okay, guys, now we're going to go in and see the garden. Now, this garden is gigantic, number one. It's included, and it only belongs to the floor, the penthouse of this place that we just went and visited. So that's your top floor. That's your apartment. My dogs would love this. In the city, gigantic grassy area, secure, not that you have to worry anything in this town. Everybody knows everybody here. Gosh, like living in a piece of history. All of this is included. This is a good time to mention that my book's now available on Amazon, both in paperback and Kindle form. You'll find it's packed full of information on Italian real estate law, taxes, and even history on different areas and how the real estate market is in those areas today. Pick it up. I'd appreciate it. Now, as you all know, I'm from Texas, so barbecue, smoker. I mean, gosh, you could have a hot tub out here. It'd be so private except for the people next door, <laughs> they could be watching you. But anyway, you get the idea. So anyway, this is all included uh, with the price of the apartment, which is 298,000 euros uh, asking price. And that really great furniture, I think that's the coolest part. And it'll be much nicer back here when, there, when there's leaves on the tree and they just got done trimming it. There's some fresh cuts on it. So they're still taking care of the place. That's it, guys. That's it from San Donato. I hope you guys enjoyed this one.